Disclaimer: All advice in this video could make your problems worse, and may include, but not limited to, codec instability, system instability, rapid heartbeat, dry mouth, liver damage, and spontaneous human combustion. You've been warned, do this at your own risk. If you're watching this video, or rather listening to this audio, then you're having the pesky problem of active movie window popping up, causing your application or video game to crash. Let me get to the point. The solution for me was to uninstall DivX. Give that a try, maybe it will help you as well. From reading other people's advice on forums, another common fix is to turn off video acceleration on whatever program is causing the active movie window to pop up. How you turn off video acceleration depends on the program you're running. So Google the name of your program and the words video or hardware acceleration. You've got video acceleration, audio acceleration, and sometimes the word hardware acceleration to cover both. In some cases, you may have to go to your video driver settings and manually tell it to turn off hardware or video acceleration for the program that's giving you trouble. Now, what causes this active movie window problem? Basically, a misconfiguration in your codecs. For me, DivX had an update. This kept crashing my Fallout New Vegas. I spent nearly two days trying to figure out why New Vegas kept crashing. So what is Active Movie Window anyway? Well, it's a component of FFD Show Video Decoder. And what is that? A codec configuration manager which serves as a DirectX decoder and filter. Nearly all games that run on Windows that are not exclusively Java-based will run on Microsoft's DirectX. To sum it all up, your problem is almost always going to come down to a codec configuration problem and trying to fix codec problems can easily screw up your system worse. So if you have a media player, such as DivX, that just had an update, it may have fiddled with your codecs. Try uninstalling or rolling back the updates on your media players. If that doesn't work, try rolling back Windows to an earlier restore point. If that doesn't work, try turning off video or hardware acceleration. If that doesn't work, try going to a codec forum and explaining the problem. That's all I got, and I really hope it helps someone out there.